بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں جامعہ رضویہ ضیاء اللوم راول پنڈی کہ بانی و محتمم قبلہ پیر سید حسین الدین شاہ صاحب دامت برکاتم العالیہ کی اجازت سے آپ کے سامنے جامعہ رضویہ ضیاء اللوم کے ایک خادم کی حسیت سے آذر ہوں جامعہ رضویہ ضیاء اللوم اپنی پچاسویں بہار کو پایا تکمیل تک پہنچا رہا ہے اللہ تعالیٰ کے فضل و کرم نبی اکرم شفی موتشم نور مجسم صلی اللہ تعالیٰ وسلم کے وسیلہ جلیلہ سے اور ان نیک لوگوں کی دوں سے جنہوں نے یکم جنوری سن انیس سو چو سٹھ کو سبزی منڈی کی تیس اور چوالیس فٹ کی مسجد میں اس جامعہ کے آغاز کے موقع پر اپنے پیارے ہاتھ اٹھا کر دعا کی ان کی دعوں کا سمرہ ہے کہ جامعہ رزویہ زیالنوم راول پنڈی سے نکلا پاکستان کے طول و عرض میں پہنچا کشمیر میں پہنچا اور پھر اس نے خیر ممالک کی سردوں کو کامیابی اور کامراغی کے ساتھ اس کا سفر کو مکمل کیا اور آج بھی حمد اللہ تعالیٰ وہ ہونی ہی جتنا شکر ادا کیا جائے ہمارے لئے کم ہے کہ دنیا کے طول و عرض میں جہاں بھی چلے جائیں وہاں جامعہ رضویہ زیال علوم کا نام آپ کو ملے گا اور یہ عزاد ہے یہ سمرہ ہے ان دو کا جو یکم جنوری انیس سو چون سٹھ کو پنوی شعبان معظم کو تیرہ سو تیاسی ازری میں ان نیک لوگوں نے کیے تھے آج پچاس سال مکمل ہو گئے ہیں اور ہمارے لیے بڑے خوشی اور مسررت کا موقع ہے میں قبلہ کی اجازت سے اپنی طرف سے اپنے بھائیوں اپنے بھائیوں سید غلام مون الدین شاہ سید انام الحق شاہ سید عبیب الحق شاہ سید رفیع الدین شاہ اور اپنے سارے خاندان کے کی طرف سے آپ علماء کرام کا مشایخ اعظام کا اور یہاں دور و نزدیک سے تشریف لانے والے مہمانوں کو دل کی اتھا گہرائیوں سے خوش حمدید کہتا ہوں اور آج ہمارے لیے خوشی و مسررت کا یہ موقع ہے کہ آج ہمارے سٹیج پر ہمارے سٹیج پر ہماری اس تقریب میں پاکستان آزاد کشمیری نہیں بلکہ پوری دنیا سے نماندگی یہاں ہو رہی ہے اور یہ بات مجھے بڑے میں بڑے فخر سے ساتھ کہہ رہا ہوں کہ آج تک پاکستان کی تاریخ میں پاکستان کی تاریخ میں کسی غیر سرکاری تقریب کے علاوہ کسی تقریب میں اتنے غیر ملکی مہمان نہیں آئے ہوں گے کہ جتنے مہمان جامعہ رضویہ زیالوم کی پچاس سالہ تقریبات تشکر گولڈن جوبلی کے موقع پر یہاں تشریف لائے ہیں یہ ہمارے لیے بڑے خوشی و مسلط کا موقع ہے سوت افریقہ امریکہ برطانیہ ملائشیا ماریشس سعودی عرب متحدہ عرب امارات اور طولو نزدیک اور دور سے تین سو کے قریب علماء کرام اور قبلہ پیر سید حسین الدین شاہ صاحب 
کے ساتھ محبت کرنے والے آج یہاں ہماری اس تقریب میں موجود ہیں اللہ زندہ باد اور اسی تقریب میں آج ہمارے اسٹیج پر ساؤتھ افریقن امبیسی کے ایکٹنگ ہائی کمشنر ڈپٹی ہائی کمشنر اور ساؤتھ افریقن امبیسی کے فرسٹ سیکٹری ہماری اس محفل میں موجود ہے میں ان کو قبلا کی اجازت سے اپنی اس تقریب میں خوش آمدید کہتا ہوں آلم و سالم و مرحبا کہتا ہوں میں موسٹ ویلکم کہتا ہوں اور ان یہاں ان کی تشریف آوری ہمارے لیے قابل فخر ہے کہ ساؤتھ افریقہ سے یہاں جتنے بھی قابل آئے ان میں ساؤتھ افریقہ کے قابلہ سب سے بڑا آیا اور ایک سو چوہتر ون سیونٹی فور پرسن ایک سو چوہتر حضرات ساؤتھ افریقہ سے ہماری اس تقریب تشکر میں آج موجود ہیں ملیشیا سے بھی آئے برطانیہ سے بھی آئے تو لہٰذا میں ان کا سب کا شکریہ ادا کرتا ہوں کہ آپ نے اپنے قیمتی لمحات میں سے ہمیں وقت عطا کیا میرے مہمان اردو نہیں سمجھتے اور میں انگریزی نہیں بول سکتا تو لہذا میں اپنے برادر عزیز سید حبیب الحق شاہ صاحب سے گزارش کرتا ہوں کہ وہ آئیں اور آ کر انگریزی میں انگریزی میں اپنے معزز مہمانوں کو ویلکم کہیں سید حبیب الحق شاہ صاحب یو ایکسیلنسی مسٹر ای ٹی موئنگ ایکٹنگ ہائی کمیشنر مسٹر محمد عمران حیدر کونسلر مسٹر ایم سی بتائے فرس سیکٹری ہائی کمیشن آف ساؤتھ افریقہ اسلام آباد پاکستان وی آر ایکسٹریملی تھینک فل ٹو یور گڈ سیلف فار آنرنگ اس وتھ یور پریزنس ہی ایٹ دس اسٹیم سیلیبریشن آف دا گولڈن جوبلی سیرمنی وی ٹیک کوگنیسنس آف یور ٹائم کنسنٹریٹ اینڈ ریگارڈ یور پریزنس ہی فار اس ان ڈیز ایز این آنر یور ایکسلنسی Allow me the opportunity to present a brief historical background of our institution, namely Jamia Rizia Ziaulum, the female section known as Jamia Amna Ziaul Banat, as well as the body representing graduates, namely Tanzim Ulmai Ziaululum. Our relation with the South African Muslims goes back to almost four and a half decades when Jamia Rizia Ziaulum registered The first student from South Africa, Molna Yusuf Saleh Muhammad in the year 1967. With the projects of the continuous growth and expansions, we saw the intake of South African students grow at this institute, unaware that we were indeed building a tremendous relation with the people of South Africa and the surrounding areas. The hard-working and diligent student having gradu graduated from here left the shores of Pakistan to be appointed as religious and community leader in the South Africa and beyond its border to neighboring countries. Graduates from here today can be found doing sterling work in the United Kingdom, the USA and other European countries as well. Our vision given to us by uh, our elder by the Al Sunnah wal Jama purely enshrined with the methodology of Sufi teaching and dictates give us a profound platform of serving humanity to education and provision of the high Islamic education and relevant departments over half century has placed us on a pedestal that this institute to date not only confines its teaching to religious education but has included in its curriculum 
amongst other secular and contemporary subjects such as English, mathematics, journal and social sciences, etc. We also run a fully fledged computer center which provides from basic computer literacy courses to technical skills. Most of this is provided for both the female and female section. In all this we had not shifted our focus from poor and needy who came to us from impoverished background and desperate need for education. We always strive to give them a vision for better life through education. By the grace of Almighty Allah we have embarked on social upliftment and development projects. For approximately the last decade when humanitarian aid was very desperately needed after the earthquake in Azad Kashmir and Hazara division, the flood striking the areas internally displaced persons through terrorism and military operation in Malakan Swat and other affected areas. The graduate, associate and well wisher of Jamia Rizia Ziaululum were always seen streaming towards rescue, rescue effort providing needy services side by side with the authorities while to provide for the needy. At this point in time we want to categori categorically state that we were always tremendously encouraged and supported by the South African Muslim communities inclusive of businessmen, philanthropists and the people from all walk of life that come forth to support such causes. They are always rem remembered in our prayers and for the sake of perpetuity of their remembrance as well as token of appreciation, we have acknowledged such services, contribution and the like by way of commemorating plugs being placed at various sections in the different wing or, or extensive buildings. On Sunday 25th March, we will mark for our institute another milestone in our list of achievements. The soul turning ceremony for the Al Madina Charitable Hospital will be taking place. This will be constructed on the premises of Jamia Amina Zial Banat and will provide medical facilities for the female student of this institute as well as the poor and needy residents of the surrounding rural areas. It is and we say that this charitable hospital will provide free diagnosis, treatment, medicine, etc. It is hoped that we would be able to take this hospital to a level that will one day be able to provide for all kinds of medical tests, inclusive of laboratories and radiological department and other crucially needed facilities. Once again, we would fail if in our duties if we don't mention the South African, UK and Muslim from other places who support us in these ventures. We would like to stress here that all this is done with the confines of our motto which is enhancement of general peace, love, harmony and brotherhood for all humanity and Muslim in particular. The world today is being engulfed in the fear of terrorism and we refute this. Pakistan has so far paid a very high price of terrorism and Muslims from all over the world have laid down their lives for the sake of refutation of terrorism. Al Sunnah wal Jama is the only institute that promotes and fosters peace and harmony in the every facet at every level and junctions. In my concluding Remarks, I would want to state that to esteemed delegation from the South African High Commission that we are grateful to you and acknowledge the harmonious relationship between us and the South African Muslim community. Hence need only flourish further, it is our firm belief that this gesture of mutual understanding and trust can go a long way in cementing our relation. Lastly, on the behalf of the Institute, Jamir Ziaulum, replaced on the record for sincere thank and gratitude, and gratitude to the South African High Commission, the South African guests, and not forgetting all guests from other countries such as India, UK, USA, Australia, Malaysia, Botswana, Mauritius, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, 
and those that travel far and wide within the Pakistan to be personally present at this very memor memorable event of the Golden Jubilee celebrations, we beseech the Almighty to keep you all in His protection. Amen. I would like to call upon Hazrat Allama Molna Hafiz Muhammad Ismail Sahib to come on the stage and say some words. His Eminence, Ustad al Ulama, Hazrat Allama Pir Tariqat, Sayyid Hasinuddin Shah Sahib Matan Allah Bituli Hayati, His Excellency. Mr. Tabo Moreng, the Acting High Commissioner for South Africa, Mr. Imran Haider, Deputy High Commissioner for South Africa, Mr. Bati, the First Secretary at the South African High Commission, esteemed learned ulama, My respected elders, dear brothers, mothers, sisters, contemporary youth, innocent children. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. All praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, cherisher and sustainer of the worlds, and choices, blessings, and salutations upon Nabi Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. First and foremost, we offer our thanks in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having accorded us an opportunity to be present here. Indeed, at a very auspicious ceremony and this auspicious gathering. It is the 50-year celebration. Call it 50-year celebration. Call it culmination of five decades of service. Call it dedication of service to humanity over half a century. Call it the Jubilee celebrations and ceremony. Linguistically speaking, every term utilized here has an exploratory meaning leading up to achievements over 50 years. Essentially, primarily, we can classify this as service to humanity through education. Education being the core function of Jamia Razviya Ziaul Ulum and those that emerged from this institute were placed as religious heads as religious leaders, as community leaders, they became entrenched in their communities. And today, if we have to essentially look, then it is indeed proper that as we celebrate 50 years of achievements of Jamia Razviya Ziaul Ulum, it is indeed proper that we take cognizance of the fact that the actual driving force behind this institute is that which needs to be celebrated here today. And I sincerely mean that His Eminence, Ustadul Ulama, Pire Tariqat Hazrat Allama Sayyid Hasinuddin Shah Saad, Matan Allahu Bituli Hayati, with trials and tribulations when he set right from the beginning, right from the inception in 1964, on the floor, on hand-woven tarps, and on hand-woven mats, where he began to prepare. And this was not just a class of people, but in reality, he gave them and he equipped them with education, and through education, they found liberation 
excellence was achieved through education, independence was achieved through education, illumination was achieved through education, success was achieved through education. Let education be their guide in this world and let education be their savior in the hereafter is what he excelled at and is what he prepared. Every person that emerged from this institute that was placed at the helm and that was placed at leadership at various societies, at various communities, not only through the length and breadth of South Africa, but in remote parts of various parts of the world, we found that contribution to human development, contribution to social upliftment, contribution to the needs of the people in every way were addressed by people. The reason behind this is that they were given a vision with their education. It seems that when a person emerges from here and when he graduates on that day like you and I will witness today and tomorrow night those that will graduate from here but when they get installed and appointed at various institutes they begin the same process of social development, social upliftment and the core which is needed in development, Jamia Razviya indeed has proven over half a century that service to humanity, service to humanity through education indeed is what we celebrate here today. And as you have heard that today this is an organization that has representation from indeed all parts of the world. And we will also be able to share with you from South Africa and on behalf of the South African Muslims, we want to state here that Alhamdulillah, the vision that was given by His Eminence, taken back to South Africa. And if we look at those that have excelled in imparting instructions at higher, edu higher Islamic education, for example, if we take the organization of the late Maulana Muhammad Iftikhar Chishti Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali that he worked and that he toiled and that he prepared people that could go into needed areas and where there could be the same modus operandi of social upliftment. We have on stage here today in the likes of Maulana Sayyid Yusuf representative of Sabri Chishti and the sterling work, the outstanding work that they do on social upliftment projects, be it the ambulance, be it upliftment, be it going out into the rural areas, in the likes of Orange Farm etc. And the amount that has been done for those people indeed comes back to one term and that is social upliftment. My colleague, my guide and my mentor, His Eminence Hazrat Allama Qibla Mufti Muhammad Akbar Hazabi Sahib, the principal of Darul Lum Pretoria, I have worked with him very, very closely. And he has been my door, he has been my gateway to look at what His Eminence Qibla Sayyid Hasinuddin Shah Sahib Matan Allahu Bituli Hayati has done for a period of 50 years. I have been associated closely with Darul Pretoria for the last 23 years and the amount of work that Tibla Mufti Saab has done on the platform of Darul Pretoria, we can say that this in fact is what emerges from Jamia Razviya. We want to place on record our sincere thanks and gratitude to His Eminence for having given us an opportunity and hence we realize that through education service and upliftment of humanity plays indeed a very very important road. I thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I, I have been instructed, in fact I have been commanded by His Eminence that to invite to the mic our next speaker. And uh, I want you to be absolutely attentive. He's an important figure and he represents South Africa. Holy, solely he represents South Africa. His Excellency, 
Mr. Thabo Moreng, who is the Acting High Commissioner for South Africa. His presence is here and I take this opportunity of inviting him to the mic to share a few words with us. Assalamu alaikum. Respected Director, Pir Saeed Hassin Uddin Shah, members of the Alumni and Convocation, Jamia Razvia Zia Ulu, Ulum, respected scholars and students, other foreign delegates and dignitaries present here, fellow South African citizens, officials from the United Ulama Council, South Africa, officials representing the Pakistani government, all our Pakistani brothers, good evening. It is truly a pleasure to be here today and represent the South African High Commission in this 50th Jubilee celebration and graduation ceremony of this esteemed education institution. Our large delegation here today from South Africa symbolizes the close and constructive bond we share with each other. South Africa places huge emphasis on moral development, social, cultural interaction, and religious freedom. The many South African graduates from this institution have contributed to these challenges and continue to actively engage our vision in this respect. We believe that the people of South Africa and Pakistan have a great deal in common. Our diversity, our openness, our appreciation for culture and our beliefs. The South African law defines religious freedom, rights, responsibility and the relationship between the state and the citizens with religious belief. Also, the international law recognizes everyone that recognizes that everyone has the right to freedom of religion. Our celebrating 50 years for this institution happens at, at a time when we as South Africa have just celebrated our 21st, uh, on the 21st of March we were celebrating uh, our Human Rights Day, basically. And today, here in Pakistan, we were celebrating the signing of the historic Lahore Resolution of 1940 by the All Indian Muslim League, which paved the way for the foundation of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. Our visit here comes within the context of South Africa's commitment to consolidate cooperation in the field of religious affairs with Pakistan. South Africa and Pakistan need to work together on a number of common issues, and indeed we have many. We want to say how important it is that we do so because it remains vital for both of us to see peace, stability, and prosperity in both our countries. We appreciate the opportunity to celebrate with you today to honor your graduates and students for the chance to work together on establishing and maintaining a strong, friendly relationship that would benefit both our nations. I thank you. Thank you very much. As you were hearing before me, that on this joyous occasion of the golden jubilee of this world-renowned, world-famous institute, Jamia Rizviya Ziaululum, we have dignitaries, we have personalities, not only from different countries, but also from different continents of the world. This is a sign of acceptance of this institute, Jamia Razviya Ziaululum. On behalf of His Eminence Huzur Kibla Shah Saab, 
on behalf of Jamia Razvia Ziaululum, we have a small token of appreciation in the form of shields, whereas we're going to say thank you and show appreciation to our guests that have taken the time out in traveling far and wide, have taken out their time to be present here and share this auspicious occasion for us from South Africa, one of the brothers that are very, very instrumental in the affairs of Huzur Qibla Shah Saab back in South Africa. That personality that worked very, very hard in arranging this trip for more than 170 South Africans to be present here, I would like to call upon Haji Abdul Haq Hussein to come forward and receive his shield from his Excellency Mr. E.T. Morang, the High Commissioner, the Acting High Commissioner of South Africa. After After Mr. Abdul Haq Hussein, that personality that was very, very instrumental in the adv adv advertising this Golden Jubilee celebration in the UK, one of the founders of Ziaululum Foundation UK, His Eminence Hazrat Kari Khalid Mahmood Sharazi. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Ya Rasulullah. Zindabad. Zindabad. Like I mentioned to you, there are people from different parts of the world representing their countries. The next person is Brother Noor Ali Mullah, who has come all the way from Malaysia. He's based in London, but he represents Malaysia and he's here representing the people of Malaysia. Brother Noor Ali Mullah. After Brother Noor Ali Mullah, that personality who is now serving the needs of the Muslims in the UK for I think close to almost 20 years, who is a past teacher of Jamia Razvia Ziaul Ulum, His Eminence Ustazul Ulama, Hazrat Allama Maulana, Kazi Abdul Khabir Abbasi Sam. The next personality The next person to receive his shield from Mr. Morang will be Dr. Ismail Patel, who has also traveled all the way from South Africa, one of the well wishers of Jamia Razvia Ziaululum. The last person to receive the token of appreciation from His Excellency Mr. E.T. Morang will be a true ambassador of Jamia Razvia Ziaululum, that person that was also responsible with His Eminence Hazrat Allama Iftikhar Sab Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi that took the light to Southern Africa and now if you find not only Jamia Razvia Ziaululum but from the branches of Jamia Razvia Ziaululum like in the forms of Darul Ulum Pretoria, the founder, the rector of Darul Ulum Pretoria Hazrat Allama Mufti Azam South Africa Mufti Muhammad Akbar Hazar Visa. Thank you very much, Mr. Morang. Now, for our dignitaries that have also come here to represent, to represent the High Commission of South Africa, 
His Eminence Huzur Qibla Shah Sahib will be presenting them with the shields. But before he present them with the shields, I just want to take two minutes more of their time. I know they had a very long, busy day today, being it Pakistan Day, and they had to attend many, many functions. This institute, you're seeing this Golden Jubilee celebration. It's celebrating 50 years of its service to the Muslim community and to mankind at large. In a few words, I want to explain to you that how this very institute situated in Rawalpindi, Pakistan is involved, or should I say a household name amongst the South African citizens. If you remember, if I want to take you back in history, after the apartheid, when the ANC came into power and the father of the nation, Mr. Nelson Mandela, came into power. He was and is very, very close to the Muslims. In 1994, after apartheid, people thought, what's going to happen? The Indians or the Asians of South Africa may have to catch the next ship back to Asia. People were preparing for the worst. And Alhamdulillah, it is Islam that teaches peace. It is Islam that promotes peace. And why I'm saying to you that this institute is involved in the lives of South African citizens, because it is safe for me to say that 75 or 80 percent of the scholars that are in charge of the upkeeping of the religious needs of the South African Muslims are graduates of Jamia Razvia Ziaululum. And by them being graduates of Jamia Razvia Ziaululum, automatically they are promoting peace, they are promoting harmony, and they are promoting brotherhood amongst the citizens of South Africa. So this institute is not only involved in representing the Muslims of South Africa, but every South African citizen where we are promoting peace and harmony. Similarly, His Eminence, our spiritual head of this institute, when he went into the history of the South African citizens, when he heard of the struggle of Mr. Nelson Mandela, he was taken aback and it was his long-time desire to visit Robben Island and those cells where Mr. Nelson Mandela served for over two decades. And Alhamdulillah, he went and he visited and he was taken aback by the struggles that the ANC and Mr. Nelson Mandela went through for the freedom of the people of South Africa. And we do share a very, very close link with this. In recent times, when our present, current president, Mr. Jacob Zuma, came into power, I was fortunate to be there, Morana Yusuf Sialvi Saab was also there on behalf of the Sunni Jamiat al-Ulama of South Africa, where in Durban there was a function held by the South African Chamber of Commerce. And again, when they invited the ulama of South Africa, it was proud to us to see the majority of the ulama that represented, represented the Muslims of South Africa were graduates of Jamia Razvia Ziaululu. So this is the long-term history that Jamia Razvia Ziaul Ulum shares with South Africa. Now, after I told you the history, and you heard that this link started in 1960, where students used to come, used to go, students came, they studied, they went back. But, you know, they say when you have an opportunity, sometimes you must make the most of it. There came a time where this link, Alhamdulillah, is still there and will always be there with the South African Muslims, with our spiritual head. But in terms of students coming over from South Africa and studying in this university and this institute, that link, I wouldn't say broke, but went loose a bit. Whereas the South African students now are not afforded that opportunity of attaining the, necessarily, the necessary travel documents of coming and studying over of here in Pakistan. Now that you have come, you have seen the work of this institute, you have seen the facilities that we have provided for the female students as well. 
I hope that in the future, maybe sometime or the other, when we do contact you, we do have a working relation. And if you could possibly, if any needs, whenever we need your assistance, you will be there to assist us. And on the same token, whenever you need the, inst the assistance of this institute, we will assist you wherever we can. Now, on behalf of the Institute, I would ask His Eminence, Huzur Sayyidi Murshidi, Huzur Qibla Shasab, to first present the shield and the token of appreciation to His Excellence, the Acting High Commissioner of, of South Africa in Pakistan, Mr. E.T. Moreng. Kibla Ustazul Mukarram Ab South African Acting High Commissioner Mr. E. T. Moran Koshil Pesh Vermangi. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My heart this time whatever feeling I will try to convey mera dil jo is waqt khushi mehsoos kar raha hai koshish karunga ke uski jhalak aapko dikha saku naam haseenuddin hai din ka husn dekhna ho to inko dekho Walid ka naam Ziauddin, bete ka naam Haseenuddin. Aapko roshni bhi nazar aayegi, husn bhi nazar aayega. You can see light and beauty together in these personalities. About 170 people came from South Africa, many from England, they call angel land, but I didn't see any angel there. Kete hai England farishto ki zameen hai, waha koi farishta nazar nahi aya, shah saab ke beje huye waha farishte nazar aaye. Farishta sifat log. Mene aapko ye batana hai kuch baras pehle hazrat shah sahab mujhe is plot par le kar aaye the koi imarat nahi thi naksha bhi dikhaya tha imarat ke liye kuch mujhe farmaya bhi tha ke kuch hame salah mashwara do aaj main wo sari baatein jo hum kitabon mein padhte hain whatever we read in the books I saw today in shape ke in logon ko jungle mein mangal banana aata hai. You people don't have voice? Can't reply? Aap log nare ka jawab nahi de sakte? Allah! सुना जो अल्लाह का प्यारा बन जाता है वो सज जाता है whoever became friend of allah allah decorate him वो सज जाता है जहां वो बैठे वो जगह सज जाती है नई नई जो लोग उनसे मिलते हैं वो भी सज जाते हैं whoever attach with them also become good this thing you heard in the books, you heard from ulama. Today you can see. I want to give you proof. Tell me, who brought you here? Ye jo itne aaye hai bahar se, inko kaun si taqat lai hai? Inko ticket provide nahi kiye gaye. Inko koi funds provide nahi kiye gaye. Balke ye to khud fund lekar aaye hai. टिकट स्पेंड करके आए हैं तो आज मान लो मेरे नबी के प्यार में जो ताकत है वो किसी और में नहीं है हम 
आपने ये सुना कि दुनिया में अगर कोई किसी का बिलविड हो इफ यू हैव एनी बिलविड पर्सन एंड यू आर लवर फॉर हिम और हर सॉरी आपको किसी से मोहब्बत हो जाए और आपको पता चल जाए कि कोई और भी उससे मोहब्बत कर रहा है समवन एल्स आल्सो लव देन एनवी जेलेसी हसद रिकाबत आ जाती है कि कोई और मेरे महबूब को क्यों चाह रहा है बर्दाश्त नहीं होता लेकिन ये मेरे नबी की मोहब्बत है जो मेरे नबी से ज्यादा प्यार करता है लोग भी उससे प्यार करते हैं इंग्लिश में हमेशा फॉर्मूला बयान किया जाता है देर इज टू थिंग्स वट टू डू एंड हाउ टू डू क्या करना है और कैसे करना है ऑलवेज देर इज वन थ्योरी एंड अदर साइड इज प्रैक्टिकल क्या करना है फॉर्मूला बताता है कैसे करना है प्रैक्टिकल बताता है वन टीचर टीच यू ओनली द थ्योरी द अदर विल टेक यू इन लेबोरेटरी एंड गिव यू चांस टू उसको आपको मौका दिया जाता है कि आप प्रैक्टिकल करके उसको अचीव करें और उसको समझें मगर दुनिया में डिपार्टमेंट जितने भी हैं मैंने ऐसा इज्तिमा उसको जमा बहुत कम जगहों पर देखा है ये थ्योरी भी पढ़ाते हैं प्रैक्टिकल भी कराते हैं ये सिर्फ आपको फार्मूला नहीं सिखाते सिर्फ ये नहीं कहते कि ये करो करके भी दिखाते हैं नारे तकबीर नारे रिसाल नबी राय आला हजरत हमारे इंडिया से आए हुए मेहमान और आला हजरत फाजिल बरेलवी के खानदान के चश्मो चराग हजरत अल्लामा मौलाना तोसीफ रजा खान साहब तशीफ ला रहे हैं हम उनका इस्तेबाल करते हैं मरहबा आप लोग तशीफ रखें माशाल्लाह इजाजत मेरे दोस्तों और बुजुर्गों साइंस की थ्योरीज चेंज हो सकती है प्रैक्टिकल बदल सकते हैं एक साइंटिस्ट कोई थ्योरी देता है दूसरा उसको आकर चेंज कर देता है मगर ये मेरे नबी का दीन है ये बदलता नहीं है न कुरान बदला जाएगा न हदीस बदली जाएगी सुने शरीयत नहीं बदलनी है तबीयत बदलनी है हम 